you doing? I saw you. I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. Don't get off. No, Sam, stop it. Weedy little shit. Give it's me the mine. Can. Give me the stop can. It. I need it. Grow up. starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! What about the station? That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them, too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen the Sullivans since yesterday, and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Poor man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary, and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Yep. I'll organize supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rotor. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg. I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the isolated families and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Now, has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife?
Meg? Meg, are you here? Here. I'm in the lounge. There are too many empty houses tonight. Most of the village is gone now. My head's killing me. Have you listened to the phones? No, I thought they were all dead. There's a strange kind of static now. I think I heard numbers in it. It sounded like the American woman. Kate? She's still alive. No one's seen her. I is Charlie back? Not yet, no. I'm sorry. That's all right, Father. Listen, you go on ahead. I'll just rest here a little longer. Sleep well. <laughs> 